Hey friends, it's not Monday. Series of annoyances, part one. Number one, when you're starting to get sick all week, but you think you're going to make it through, and then it hits you on Friday morning and you can't go to work. Why couldn't it have just waited one more day? Number two, when said illness keeps you from seeing your boyfriend early that weekend. And your camera that you need to film your Monday video is at his house. Number four. So, you decide you're going to film your video on Sunday night after you go downtown to see Wicked, but there's a huge wait at the restaurant where you're going to have dinner. Number five. And the aforementioned illness makes sure that you go to bed the second you get home on Sunday, leaving your video not done. My challenge this week came from Andy, and as you may have been able to tell, it was to impersonate one of my favorite YouTubers. I chose to impersonate Haley G. Hoover because I find her incredibly funny, very smart, and her series of annoyances was the perfect way to explain why my video wasn't up on Monday. Our theme this week is to talk about our favorite Harry Potter book. I have a lot of trouble choosing a favorite book, partially because I consider the first four books one series and the last three another series. This is partially because the books get more mature and they get darker about then, but it is also partially because I started reading the series just before the release of the fifth book, so I read the first four books really really quickly all in a row, and then I had to wait for the fifth, sixth, and seventh. My favorite book from the first half of the series is definitely the third. That's because I feel like this is when you really get to know the characters, their personalities really start to develop, plus I love learning about the Marauders. I love the fifth because you meet a lot of interesting characters and I love getting to know about the Ministry of Magic. As well, there's a great song by Peeved called The Year Harry Went Emo and that is definitely the fifth book. The sixth book really just blew me away. We were finally starting to get some answers, and I don't even know what to say about Dumbledore, but it was incredibly touching. But my favorite book overall has to be the seventh. Partially because it's the most well-written, but also for very sentimental reasons. We finally got all of the answers that Joe was going to give us. Snape was finally exonerated, we know who lives and who dies, and it's all wrapped up in one neat little package. My silver lining from Monday is that on Sunday I went to go and see Wicked and it was really good. My silver lining for today is my totally awesome channel partners. I really appreciate that you guys were so understanding about me putting up a video that's not on my day because I really wanted to do my challenge this week and I really wanted to talk about the theme this week and I was really, really upset when I realized my video just wasn't going to be up on Monday. All of that being said, Andy, see you tomorrow.